Hello and welcome to Mi Vida Natura Lifestyle. And today my guest is Victoria Senior from Marbella. Hello Victoria and welcome. Hi Ali, thanks so much for having me. Well Victoria, um, I remember when I first met you, uh, you had a, a stand at a charity event with makeup yeah. and I went over to you and I said, excuse me, uh, Miss, could you help me to learn how to do my eyebrows? <laughs> I remember, I remember, yes. And I've never forgotten it, so today I've spent extra special care to give them correct because you did teach me how to do them. So for 50 yep. years I've been doing them wrong. Oh really? <laughs> oh they look great. It's all sorted itself out at the end of the day. Yes. Uh, Victoria, as you know, because I have met you before, my work is to guide women to adopt a holistic approach to hormone balance. Uh, yeah. when they are feeling perimenopause and many menopause symptoms, you know? Yeah. I'm always very interested to talk to women that are in the wellness business, uh, especially yourself in the health and beauty business, um, because this industry is something that I think everybody really wants to learn about. And uh, yeah. I'd love to hear about your business. Would you like to share that with us? I'd love to. Yes, thank you, Ali. Um, so um, I... I'm really, really um, excited to deal with 100% natural skincare. For me, that is the vital thing that I think that we should, as a nation, a new generation um, of, of women, men, but we're talking women today, um, to, cha to change over to because um, so many things on the market do contain harmful carbons and chemicals which really do affect our hormones and particularly you know as you were saying Ali when people move into that perimenopausal stage at that menopausal stage our skin completely changes not completely but you know you do notice changes we tend to get more one-dimensional as we get older like when you look at a, a, a baby or a young child they have a glow about them don't they? they have all these different dimensions and we tend to go a little bit flatter the colour starts to change and we need to get into a really, really good skincare routine. Um, and that's important even before those stages. But sometimes um, women have, you know, missed the boat with that. You know, when you're young and you, you don't have the time and you, you think, you know, you'll always stay young forever. But, but really, a good skincare routine is the key to looking younger and for your makeup to to look fantastic on your skin. There is no getting away from it. It's skincare, skincare, skincare. And that begins with removing makeup. And if you're not a big makeup wearer, you have to remove any pollutants and any grime and dirt that you can't even visibly see on your skin very well. So that involves a double cleanse. So you cleanse your face once, and then you go in again and you cleanse a second time. And that is a very, very big um, tip to stay younger for longer. So um, I'm, uh, I have partnered with a company called Lime Life by Alcone and they are 100% natural and that was why I leaned towards them and I was using their products two years before they actually hit the UK and Europe um, and I am 51 um, and I have been looking after my skin with their 100% natural um, products and I'm really really pleased with the results. I, I think that I actually think that I look younger now at 51 than I did at 42. Um, so, you know, obviously you don't, people watching this don't know me, um, but definitely skincare, 100%. So you need to remove the makeup or the dirt and grime completely. And then you need to have um, a decent moisturizer, whether you're oily skinned or not, everybody needs a moisturizer. It's the myth to think, well, I'm producing a lot of sebum and oil, so I don't need a, um, a moisturizer, but you actually do because we're looking for balance. We're looking for a pH balance of the skin. Um, so if you get run to a shop and you buy something that's full of chemicals, it might work immediately and you might think that's fantastic, but actually your skin is working harder to combat the stripping of the oils which that product has done. So natural products take longer to work, but they work in harmony with your skin. And once you've created that balance, this is, this is definitely the future. So, so I've said you, you remove your makeup, you need a good moisturizer, you need, um, you need a mask to remove um, or exfoliant to remove dead skin cells weekly. 
removing the skin cells is really important. Otherwise, they lay on the skin and they just look really dull. Your skin looks very dull and lifeless. And it will help with um, with blocked pores and, and um, you know, very open pores. This will help get into the grime and the dirt inside the pores and remove them. Um, toner is not, uh, is not necessary, actually. Toner isn't. A good splash of cold water at the end will close the pores really well. And those are my big, big tips. Go natural, have a very, very good skincare routine and stick to it, regimentally stick to it. And um, you should see great improvements in your skin. Well, Victoria, that's very, very interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I must admit, uh, I, I always, one thing I always do is to make sure I do remove my makeup. I think that is very important. But good. Uh, I think uh, what, what you're actually saying is it's a, it's a long-term approach. You start and you take care of your skin on a regular basis, evening, Definitely. morning, and and that, and that's the secret to, to keeping it nice. Because uh, another thing I think as well is important is um, we live in Spain as well. So you have to take care to, I mean, I usually wear a hat and I wear, I always wear sun cream on my face as well. Yeah, and I good. Think that's another thing we have to look at because uh, the skin thing can be damaged very, very quickly. Absolutely. And I, and well, I think that's that's quite well known. But you do see people that are not do. not noticing this. And you brought me to a point that I just realized I just missed out. That is the other vital thing is an SPF every single day. You know, there is no such thing as a healthy tan. There is no such thing. It's our, the skin, uh, the melanin in our skin working hard to fight the, the, the damage from the sun. But obviously we can't avoid it and we do need our vitamin D as well. So yes, um, a sun protection factor, no less than, than 30. No, otherwise there's no point. And sometimes you can buy um, foundations which contain SPF, but they're often only 50 15, 20, it's not enough. You'd have to do, put 20 squirts on your face, which you'd never do for it to do anything at all. And actually with every um, SPF, it does need to be reapplied every couple of hours, two to three hours. And even though some of them do say a once a day application, it actually isn't true. And we need to just be really wise to that. So I think that um, going natural as well, and you can do, you can get, um, you can get physical sunscreens that are predominantly using zinc um, as well, um, which actually we do we do sell, and actually the one we do sell, which I use every day, um, is a three-in-one. It's a daily moisturizer, a primer, which is great for under makeup, very important, um, and it's an it's an SPF factor thirty. You need to look for the sign on your bottle that says broad spectrum. It must be broad spectrum, which means UVA and UVB. So one combats um, the cancerous rays and one combats the signs of aging. Fabulous. Well, we're certainly <laughs> learning a lot today. I am anyway. Um, Victoria, I'd love to talk to you again. Can we, um, can we talk next time maybe about, uh, I don't know, what would you suggest? Because I'm looking for some tips for women about applying makeup when they're yeah. in a poor stage of their life. Is that something that yeah. you'd like to talk to me about sometime? I'd love I'd love to do that because as a makeup artist as well, you know, I'm often applying makeup for, um, on older skins as well as younger skins. And yeah. your technique for applying makeup does change as you get older. And a big mistake a lot of us make is that we are stuck in our 20s and 30s, how we always used to apply our makeup then. And actually, you do need to move with the times and with the changes in your skin. So I'd love to come back and talk about that, Ali. Thank you. That would be really nice. Now, Victoria, if anybody today would like to get in touch with you, like to contact you, how can they do that? Yeah, um, well, um, via Facebook, um, my Simply Beautiful by Victoria page. Um, I've got a business page there. Um, I'm very visible on social media, on Instagram as well, which is Victoria Senior Mua, which stands for Makeup Artist. Um, or I could also um, leave you um, a mobile telephone number with you, Ali, as well, if anyone if anyone would like to have a personal consultation with me. Website? Yes, uh, my website is um, www.simplybeautifulbyvictoria.com. And that's where you'll see all the products um, that I've talked about available on the website. Yes. Wow. Forgot the website. <laughs> <laughs> that's no problem. Well, thank you, Victoria, very much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. It's been wonderful.
So that's all from me, Ali Farmer, at Mi Vida Natura Wellness. And um, a goodbye from Victoria, from Marbella, from Lime Life Beauty and Wellness. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.